Hello my friends, it's Lori Snyder here on the unceded territories of the Coast Salish people, the Squamish, Tsleil-Waututh and Musqueam. Again, always so grateful to call um, what we say Vancouver as my home. And um, one of the things that I love to do is really teach about the wild plants, our native plants and medicinal plants. And, um, and really encourage people to allow those wild plants to actually be here with us and get a little curious who they are and how they might actually be really helpful for our health. And so today I wanted to talk a little bit about the dandelion. And what I find so interesting is here is a plant that has traveled all around the globe and she only grows where there are people. So if we go up into our mountains, we're not gonna find dandelion. She's usually outside our doors, in our gardens, down the back alleys. And you know, there was a time where we were told this is a weed and we actually put a lot of poisons on this beautiful plant. And I think we forgot that our ancestors were actually eating this plant. So all parts of the dandelion we can eat, except if you have allergies to latex. And that's that white milky substance that you might have noticed when you pick the stem or the leaf or dig up the root. And it's actually been known to actually kill the fungus, you know, like a wart on your skin. But as I said, we can also eat it. There's a little sweetness, a little bit of bitterness. These are young greens. They're not uh, very large leaves at all. So, you know, that's a good time to add into my salads or put in my stir fries or my smoothies. And the leaf has a lot of potassium. So it's very helpful for our kidneys. And that's one of the things that I would say about plants is I've noticed that different plants and different parts of the plants actually seem to have an affinity to different organ systems in our body. So um, it also works as a diuretic. So just be mindful if you're making teas, not to be drinking that tea for a long period of time because you don't want to create some complication. But if you need to do a bit of a cleanse or a flush and help to flush out the kidneys, then that might be a, a, a beautiful tea that you could um, make for yourself. So it won't be long. We're just starting to see the first flowers. They're really important pollinator plants because we don't have a lot of our native plants in our landscape and with these introduced species, they're kind of filling in that, um, that place that's gonna be an amazing food source for the pollinators. So if I'm gonna go and do a harvest on the flower, which has a lot of vitamin D, which we get from the sun, then I wanna make sure that it's in abundance before I actually take some for myself or to share with my family. And with the flower, you can infuse it in a little bit of honey. It kind of tastes like bananas. It's quite delightful. And honey is really soothing for those sore throats, right? So when the kids are telling us, mom, I've got a sore throat, that's, you know, a time of, of rest. So this wisdom of our body telling us, it's time to rest. It's time for you to get some more vitamin C in and for you to, um, you know, maybe have some honey and drink lots of fluids. Um, digging up the root. Early, early spring before too much leaf starts to happen or late in the fall, I can eat it fresh. I can roast it with my vegetables, dry it, grind it and make some beautiful dandelion root tea. And um, what we've, uh, what you'll notice, it's got this bitterness to it. So it's kind of like a coffee flavor. It's quite delightful and it has an affinity for my liver. So it's gonna to help to support my liver because that liver works really hard flushing out a lot of um, toxins out of the body. And then um, once that flower has come up and it grows those big long stems, I love to eat those in my, my scrambled eggs. So fry them up with a little butter and garlic, add in my egg and it's absolutely delicious. So remember, this is a plant that our ancestors were eating. So if you have European background, as most of us do, I'm of mixed descent. Um, this is what kept them strong. 
And this wasn't considered a weed, this was considered their food and their medicine. So enjoy your dandelion, make sure you don't over harvest the flowers, and oh, and don't forget to spread the seeds. That's what we do as the two-leggeds. We help, like the birds and the other animals, to help the rooted nation move the seeds. So hope to see you soon.